Hello everyone, it's me Steph. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. Got some new shorts today from Next. I have to say I was like so impressed I ordered them. Oh no, I got them yesterday, but I'm wearing them today. I ordered them at like 3 p.m. and they came the next day at 3 p.m. I was like, okay. Well, I'm just coming in mainly to check in. I have a friend coming over actually in a half hour. So that'll be really nice. She has a little toddler. That's really cute. Um, well, I'm going to get going. I'm going to run through the house, make sure it's tidy for our guests. And um, I'm going to check in at the next When You'll see me in a second. Hey guys, it's a Monday morning. Um, Gary's actually at the horse races in Galway. <laughs> Um, yeah, he's there with like, um, people with the company that, yeah, the owner of the company he works for is taking, is taking, yeah, people, that, his employees, I guess. So anyways, we're going to head out. We're going to grab a couple things from the shopping center for Spain for some warmer, warmer weather clothes. Yay. I meant Italy. So yeah. Hello everyone, it's now Tuesday morning. I wasn't the best about vlogging yesterday. Apologies for that. I just washed and did my hair. It feels really nice. I'm having a nice hair day. I've been doing, I did mention this probably, I don't know, even a couple months back. Um, I got like a hair oil. Um, right now I'm using like an argon oil, just like a pretty affordable one from Boots. And then I do a couple drops of rosemary oil in it and mix it and put it in my hair and let it sit in my hair and I actually let it sit in my hair um overnight I don't know I do feel like it makes a little bit of a difference um we're gonna go back out shopping today just to grab a couple more things uh, I'll show I'll probably do actually maybe later a quick little what we're bringing what we're packing to Italy that's about it I'm gonna drink some water and then I'm gonna get going. I'm back from the grocery store and I meant to show everything before I put it away, but I forgot. All I have left out is this mini jar of jam that Molly got to <laughs> have to play with her dolls and this. But the great thing was today was the day that um, every so often, I don't know if it's like twice or three or four times a year, I think it might only be twice, but as you shop at Dunn's, you accumulate points. And I think twice a year they cash in those points and then they just give you these like special vouchers. Like you always, basically you always have like a 10 off 50. So when you spend 50, you get 10 off and a five off of 25. Like you always have those. But yeah, like I said, every so often, maybe just say twice a year, um, they cash in your points. So I had like $19 off, just straight off, like essentially $19 store credit. I was able, like I, my total was 91 and it got brought down to 57. I basically just got the basics eggs, bread, some fruit, some vegetables, chicken for dinner, a frozen pizza, snacks for the girls. Yeah, that was basically it. But I was really excited that it was only 57. So Gary's home now and I'm gonna go back out by myself because like I said, I don't like shopping with the little girlies. Excited. I think I did really well. Um, I feel like I haven't had a nice shop where I really found like several really good things. I just feel like I got what I went there for. They're all practical. The things I can get use out of here. Things I can get use out of in Italy. Well, if the weather's warm-ish. See, I'll wear like shorts and a t-shirt even when it's like 68 degrees or I don't know what that is, maybe 20 degrees Celsius. I don't know why I'm out of breath like, but yeah, I'm even wearing shorts today. But anyways, I'll stop talking and I'm gonna show you what I got. And I think I spent around 120 total. So you'll see, it's like, I feel like I got a good bit of stuff. Let me set it out so that I'm not going item by item and I'll show you. To start off, and this like 
is probably not too exciting to anybody. But yeah, I got two tank tops and two shirts. They're all from Zara. These were like nine euro each and this was 12 and this was like eight or nine. But I really love these t-shirts and I know it's like probably so funny, but I just like when things are just like a little bit, like a basic, but just a little bit different. And I also, I love the colors. So I got those things, will all be good. Um, shirts for Italy. And then I got this. I love this so much. This was a little bit, like this was kind of a splurge for me. Not that it's crazy, but 30 euro. Um, but I can wear this here and there. Honestly, maybe even more so here. Cause yeah, anyways, I think I'll get, I think I'll get good use out of it. And I always try to shop consciously, as I've said before. So I'm excited about that. And then I got these shorts from Mango. I really love these two. I know they just look like a, a classic pair of jean shorts, but I'm so particular about how things fit, how the waist feels, just all sorts of things, especially if they're a jean that doesn't have stretch. I'm super picky. I actually did go like a size up. Yeah. So I'm sometimes I'm kind of in between sizes with like certain jeans, but so I went with the bigger size. And then I got this from Pennies. It's super sheer. You can't really tell. It was on clearance for six euro. Oh shoot. I was going to say, is it showing up? Okay. Um, well here I'll, I'll, yeah. You'll have seen when I did my little montage of me being at the mall, what this looks like. This is like so cute and I've always wanted something like it. It's a big, super sheer, long dress, but it has like a short mini dress inside. So obviously I can wear it out. Actually, so I got this, which actually looks similar enough, especially on the camera. Um, I got this from Tesco the other day. It is an actual bathing suit cover up as well. I almost... Wish I wouldn't have got it now because of the thing I got at Penny's today. But I don't know, this is really great too. This is me like two hours later, I forgot. But <laughs> um, I got this uh, a couple weeks ago too at Mango and it was also on clearance, 50% off. That's the good thing about um going to shop, even though we're like literally, it's only August 1st, but in Ireland it's like fall. <laughs> but so yeah, uh, basically all the summer clothes are on clearance for the most part. So I feel good and prepared for Italy really excited i was like because it actually it's getting to the time of the year you know how it's the same way as it is in the states over here in ireland where they start bringing out um like fall clothes and it's like only july still well actually it's august 1st today actually two years ago today is when we stepped foot into ireland and never left it's literally our two-year anniversary of living here in a way when we came here on august 1st we were like it was kind of our vacation and we didn't know how things were gonna transpire but we have been here for two years okay i'm gonna go oh so yeah i'm gonna go i am going to get my nail Nails done. You guys look, look at this nail. Look at the grow out on that nail. That's not like I'm like, not that there's anything wrong with it. And plus, nails grow fast. And it's sometimes it's hard to get in. Life is busy and hard to get in to get a nail appointment. So I am by no means picking on grown out nails. It happens. But I'm like, nails are like I've said before, they're like my thing. And I, I always like pay extra attention to nails and my nails in particular. I was trying to coordinate with getting them done with Italy. I wanted to kind of get them as close to leaving for Italy as possible so that they look nice for our trip. But we're only there for a week and I couldn't wait any longer because I would have liked to get them done like four days ago. I will show you what they look like um, after. Okay, and here's the after. This is again, um, builder in a bottle. I said that in my last vlog, I think. But yeah, I'm, I'm sticking with it and I really like it. I really like this shade. It's the shade Lady by the Gel Bottle. Hey vlog. <laughs> hey guys, Wednesday. It's a Wednesday afternoon. I'm about to go make some lunch. We're having a lazy day, I guess. Molly said she didn't want to leave the house, so I said... What are we going to have for lunch? What are we going to have for lunch? What do you want? I want scrapperoli because I'm loved. She calls tortellini scrapperoli. No, I call it salami. Salami. Oh, salami. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Mommy thought she meant... I meant real salami, I meant fake salami. Yeah, when we were at the grocery store yesterday, she said, I want some salami. So I thought she meant actual salami. I do what know- What do you mean? That's fake salami. Yeah, she likes to call tortellini salami. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm just checking in. We're having a lazy day. It's chilly and gloomy. Um, I was gonna probably check in at some point today anyways, cause I'm like kind of weekly vlogging. But I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna come on and talk about how disappointing the summer weather can be in ireland um it's pro it was probably close to two months ago now we had like a two-week period of time that was well really nice for ireland it was perfect for me because the sun was out a lot the sun was out a lot and i actually like when the temperatures are like low 70s because i don't know i just can get hot really easily i, I love that weather but 
the past, like, I don't know, at least a month or more has been rainy and gloomy. Like, I feel like we barely ever see any sun. I mean, we get like a little spotting of sun here and there, but it's funny because when I moved over, I said, no, I'm not really going to mind the weather because I don't mind a gloomy day. I like a rainy day. Don't, I'm not going to miss like the hot, hot heat of a Michigan summer being in the 90s or, you know, in the 30s Celsius. But yeah, I miss it a little bit, a little bit more than I expected. Mainly just, I just wish the sun would make an appearance a little bit more often. I'm going to go, I'm going to figure out something to make us little girlies for lunch. Okay, what we have here is some sourdough. I have some pieces of ham. I'm just kind of um, cooking them up a little bit, like gonna get them a little brown. And then I'm essentially making a toasted ham and cheese sandwich, like a grilled, like a grilled cheese, but ham and cheese. I love coat the bread and the butter, put the ham on it once it gets nice and brown and put some cheese. And that'll be for the kids. And then for myself, I'm here. I'm gonna make, I'm sure this, yeah, okay, Gary about this, yeah. I'm gonna do some bacon, which the kids can pick at as well. And I have some, oh, oh, do I have some? oh yeah, I have, so I have some green, and then I have some tomatoes. Maybe I'll even throw some cucumbers on too. And I am going to make a, well, either a BLT, I'm gonna make like a BLT wrap. I have these tortillas, they were all folded up, but I have these tortillas, so I might like make like a ham, or a BLT. Right. I have avocado. I'll throw some avocado in there. Let me go fix a picture of my ham. Uh oh. Oh, sometimes the ham. Kind of get it nice. I just it just elevates it. Like you could just do ham and cheese, but um, it's, it's nice like this. My mom, <laughs> my mommy, I miss my mommy. She used to do this for me. She used to make it like that. You guys don't need a tutorial on how to make. A grilled ham and cheese sandwich, but you're, you're you're getting a little bit of one. So I'll spread that around. Got you guys set up on the tripod. Let's turn this off. We're gonna need four slices. Wow, we got through this loaf really quickly, actually. This is what I mean. Get it nice and coated. We're live. Wait, is this recording? Yes, it is. I'm using two different kinds of cheese. When making a sandwich like this, it's really nice to have these slices. Do that. Boom. A lid out as well. A lid for the pan just to kind of help. There we go. And oh, I probably could have done a little bit more ham. That's okay. Also, like I like doing it like this so now the cheat when the cheese melts, it'll help the bread stick. Okay, the only problem with this bread is it's sometimes it's really holy. Something unholy. So there we go. She's toasting. Let's I don't really have a proper lid for this pan. That'll do. Um, and then obviously I'll flip once the bottom side is toasted enough and I'll show you guys what that looks like when I'm finished in just a couple minutes. So they're flipped, almost perfectly toasted. I do like it lightly toasted. I wish there was maybe a tiny bit more, but that's okay. Let me move this guy, put that back on. Let him cook for another minute. Whoa, look at that finished product, you guys. I'm trying to, uh-oh. I think you propped in between two syrups, two coffee syrups. I want to just do a little, little ASMR, but yeah. Kiva's gonna like it, and I'm sure Molly will complain. Let's see if this one's a little more satisfying. Okay, you know what this video is? This is just a chatty around my. Oh, I had it. I had an itch in my nostril. I wasn't picking my nose. This is just gonna be a chatty around the house with me video because I just thought of something else random that I wanted to say is I was I was moving my ring light. I just used it for my grilled cheese, ham and cheese segment. But I was like moving it and I'm like, you know what? I love vlogging. I love YouTube. Like, why do I get in my head? Blah, blah, blah. I tell you guys this. I say it in every video. And grandma, yes, I am going to say this. My grandma said, don't talk about that on the internet. I'm saying it. I just finished my time of the month. And why it is important and why I will continue to talk about it is because women don't know enough about their own bodies. And most men have women in their life that could use the support. And even when you go to the doctor and you try to figure things out, specifically even people that have like true issues like PCOS, endometriosis, things I'm not thoroughly knowledgeable enough, but women struggle for years, like even getting diagnosed. 
but even the average cycle, there's four parts to your cycle. And I've been like looking it up a little bit more and it affects your hormones. And women go through, you know, different, uh, like the follicular, the ovulating, the luteal, I don't know, don't quote me. But I was gonna actually say is I wanna buy this book. Um, I saw it in Eason's. I think the author actually might be Irish too. I'm about to buy it. I have, I just ordered another book. I'm halfway through, I have, I shouldn't be buying more books. I need to be better. I need to be reading a little bit better. I have been reading, I do read, but it's just, I, I need to be better about my habit. Anyways, I wanna continue to learn more and more and my whole entire point about my mind frame. And if you do know even any little bit, I'm checking out my bacon over there. If you know any little bit about the ups and downs of like the cycle and what a woman goes through, it makes sense that just before my actual time of the month, even though your whole month is actually dictated by your cycle as far as, I don't know, hormones and whatever. Before my time comes, I am a little bit like, I, my headspace isn't as great. You can be irritable, tired, anxiety can be higher, depressed like feelings, blah, blah, blah. And so anyways, I wanna be, I wanna learn more simply because I think it's important but there's books out there that I think can help women through those times. Like it's not gonna be a magical cure or anything like that. But my, my actually Tina, my stepmom, read a good book and then she gave it to me. It's, I think it's in our storage in the States, but I wanna repurchase it. I also kind of wanna read that because I think it's more so to do with maybe how to like eat and exercise to kind of help women through the symptoms that they go through, even if it like reduces like what you're feeling, maybe doesn't fix it. I had to say that. I'm really excited to buy that book. Um, I'm sure there's some other good ones out there, but yeah, I, I'm gonna get that one. I think it's cool to be conscious of where you're at and understanding your body. just got back from Dunn's and Boots. I popped in there really quick. Actually, I'll just say at Boots, I got an SPF 50 because we're going to Italy. So for the girls, I already have the same brand, same bottle, but SPF 20 for myself. I know I could maybe just go ahead and use the 50 as well, but I like to try to get a little bit of a tan. I will put 50 on my face for sure. Um, and then I got this. Don't come for me hairstylists. Okay. The TikTok girlies got me again. Okay. And then at Dunn's, even though I just went to Dunn's earlier, this is what I was saying in my Q&A video, I just, I go to the grocery store kind of a lot. So it's hard to like keep track of like what I'm really spending. But anyways, I spent 23 euro and this is what I got. So we have two visits tomorrow. Gary's sister and her kid, the girl's cousin are coming over in the morning. So I picked up some chocolate chip muffins, just just to have to be able to offer the kids. And then Gary's cousin and her son are coming over for dinner and drinks, and we are going to do pizza for the kids. But then for us, I got, it's um, garlic and herb chicken. There's two chicken breasts. They're like pre-marinated in there. So we're gonna do wraps. So I got wraps, lettuce, pita bread, hummus, bread, Oreos, chocolate milk, orange juice and egg whites because I think I might make a little bit of martinis. Oh guys, and then I got ready for the evening and I had a really nice time with Gary's cousin and yeah, here I am just babbling. So I decided to just speed through that and take you into the next day or so. Today we're gonna open a package. Keep my little helper. We had a swim fest for Molly because, yes, I need to get them in swimming lessons. That's actually the plan for when we get back from Italy. Kiva can swim decently, actually, but she could use some improvement. And then mom got a book. Hey, don't come for me. And Kiva got a book. Oh, that's thick, babe. Yeah. Very nice. It's finishing lunch. I made myself a delis delicious chicken Caesar pita, or chicken Caesar wrap. Oops. <laughs> but anyway, so now I have un this out of its packaging and it seems nice off of first impression i'm gonna try it on molly um because actually we had one like this before but it was too tight 
but I found this one on Amazon that like had um, uh, two different size options. Hey guys, it's Saturday. Last minute, Gary actually got the day off because he's gonna have to work Monday instead. Few days before we leave for Italy. Right now we are just driving out to meet Gary's dad halfway for some lunch. Just to spend a little time with him. Then we're gonna go to the shopping center. Gary needs to get himself some, a few maybe summery, warm weather clothes. I'm, I'm gonna be there to make sure he does it because he never buys himself things. That's what we're doing for today. Um, get some little clips and kind of take you along with us. after I come up the stairs and before I start talking. But okay, I was excited. I, I found these little packing cubes at Penny's and it was it was six euro for the three of them. But I don't know, they're kind of small, but maybe it would have been better to get two or to have just got the ones I saw on Amazon. I'm gonna start packing. I believe earlier in the vlog, I will have shown the summer stuff that I bought. Gary bought a pair of swim shorts today. I was actually kind of proud of his pick, kind of being a little bit, um, I don't know, adventurous for the color scheme. And he got some shorts and then he got some slides for the pool, which is good because he like never brings slides and then all I'll have is his tennis shoes. And then I got this cute hat just to be able to shade my face a little bit. Let's see. Okay, this might be decent. Actually, I think this is gonna fit more than I thought. I don't even know too much about the point of these, you know? But I like feeling organizational. Organizational, organizational. Okay, that was actually a decent bit of stuff I fit in there, so that's that. I just love this Zara knit, um, I don't know, sweater shirt? I don't even know. So cute. Also at Penny's, we picked up a little um, kind of carry on luggage. Voiceover staff taking over because this clip I recorded in slow mo and it's all funky, but this is the luggage that we got for Kiva. It was 45 euro, but I don't know, guess we splurged. I'm gonna spend a couple more minutes packing up some of this stuff and then I'm, I'm going to pick up some Thai food um, for takeaway for us to eat because, yeah, I didn't feel like cooking. <laughs> Thank you. 